My name is Felix Colgrave, and I'm an animate boy. I started animating, well, I animated a lot as a kid on just various flip books and things like that, but I didn't start animating professionally until I was about 16, which I think is 2009. And generally the way I make my films is I will make the opening shot and then work everything out once that exists. Usually I'll come up with a name first and it just just make the whole thing in chronological order and you know I feel like there are certain ideas that you can't really explain if I if I sat down and said what happens in one of my films if I said and then a big head with grass for teeth comes up and eats an apple like it doesn't it only works as a visual idea and I'm only going to arrive at that conclusion by playing around with things visually so I it's just better that I don't write anything and I'll get results that only this art form can do. The average time it takes to make a film I'd say is probably about a month a minute, though it's been a long time since I've actually timed myself. And um, it changes a lot with commercial jobs because rather than just making things at the speed I make things, you know, you draw a nose and then you have to wait for three weeks as the client says mm, I think that nose needs to be a bit more approachable like you know it needs to have smaller nostrils and you just kind of wait as they do that and in terms of working commercially I mean, I mean working for networks and things all you know you are always at the mercy of some network executive that um, and they make the call of whether or not people are going to like a thing. And so, you know, they, they can see something that they've seen before and say, we know this sells, whereas they can't really do that. I mean, they can't really make that call if it, they have no evidence of it selling. Whereas nowadays, you can make something that is completely off the wall. And then if they say, I don't know if this is going to sell or not, you can say, it will, because it's selling right now, and just load it up online and you have the proof. I am very much a, a product of the internet. I don't think I would have been able to do what I do before it because, um, I mean, apart from the fact that it just sort of globally connects all animators, which given that it's by nature a collaborative medium, th that's really useful and everyone is just really nice because everyone needs the contacts. If anyone gets a job and thinks that it'd be suited to that guy, it'll, they'll email it off to that guy on the other side of the world, really. And the, the, and it, but within the Melbourne community, especially, just because, you know, I share an office with uh, seven other freelance animators and we all just sort of look out for each other and work with each other and collaborate. The directions that work come from in animation are so weird. I mean, like, especially when you're starting out, you know, the sort of people that approach you for commercial jobs, you're never going to guess who these people are, or, you know, you know the weirdest people need animation. So it, you know, stands to reason there'll be someone that will want whatever you do, and you can get the ball rolling, and just don't worry about it and make what you want.